my dear students welcome to my class in business statistics in the previous class we learned about uh, median and quartiles in case of individual series and today let us learn about uh, discrete series the main difference between individual series and discrete series is frequency in case of individual series there should not be any frequency but here you will find frequency when x and f are given my dear students you have to rearrange the data on the basis of x see after rearranging i got like this 10 6 10 7 12 14 16 2 17 8 19 10 22 after that i took c of cumulative frequency adding of frequency numbers 6 6 7 13 13 plus 14 27 like this my dear students know the formula q1 is equal to size of n plus by fourth term so here the size is 49 49 plus 1 by 4 means 12.5 uh, i have to see where i am going to get 12.5 here always the answers will be in variable x that you have to remember see in cf where you are getting opposite to x that will be the answer and median size of n plus 1 by 2 25 we got i am getting 27 here uh, in 27 i am getting 25 12 is the median like that only q3 i have done 3 into n plus 1 by 2 n by 4 size of 3 into n plus 1 by 4th term is 3 into 49 plus 1 by 4 7.5 but i am getting 37.5 here 19 is the answer so for your excess purpose i have given two questions you must practice those two questions in the notes you must practice because learning of discrete series is very very important you see one more example here they have given x and f only median you have to calculate cf 6 plus 9 15 15 plus 15 30 likewise so n is equal to 100 median is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2 100 plus 1 means 101 by 2 means 50.5 i am getting 50.5 in 75 Opposite to 75 it is 50, so median is like 50 is the answer. See that is one uh, practice problem and uh, my dear students in coming classes definitely I am going to start continuous series. But in uh, statistics particularly I am saying when you started practicing, when you started learning, don't give a break. Though you may get a holiday, you give at least half an hour time for learning of the stats. Uh, go on writing the formulas in any rough paper or somewhere and uh, see how is the progress also and some practice questions like this are always available to you uh, okay in case of individual and discrete series the formula will be the same there in case of individual series n means number of items here n means uh, total of frequency and one thing i want to say my dear students the good thing in statistics is when you learn more when you practice more you will get more and more you, you will be able to learn more and more when a new formula comes don't forget the old formulas do remember all the formulas and keep practicing the question as i said first of all you have to take x f c f then apply the formula n means total of the frequency n means total of the frequency my dear students give time give time for stats give time for stats the more you practice the more you will get the more practice is required for doing of the stats okay i wish all the best thank you